Hey guys, Rivoons here. So, maybe you forgot, but there's this new show coming out called Velma, a prequel series to Scooby-Doo about the character Velma. And they released a trailer a few months ago, which was not that well received, to say the least. I mean, the trailer has 36,000 likes and 301,000 dislikes. So this trailer got crushed. People hated it. And the YouTube comments are not nice at all. What they've done to Velma is unforgivable. Understanding the lore and respecting the fans are important when making a series based on existing property. That is why Japan is great, since they do remakes to celebrate anniversaries and be close to the source material. Remember when shows prioritized story and characters over wokeness and gave actual good representation? Good times. It's not Scooby-Doo if it doesn't even have Scooby. This is self-inserted fan fiction. And yeah, that's a huge problem most fans have. Scooby is not in this show. This is a Scooby-Doo prequel and Scooby is not in it. And the characters that are in it are completely changed for modern audiences, as they call it nowadays. And some further comments. The fact that Hollywood has the balls to take beloved characters and change things about them to align with their views is disgusting. I love that they keep doing this crap. The harder they push, the harder they flop. Just reminds us all how good the original stuff was. Once Velma show flops, the woke producers are gonna blame the fans, whom they antagonized and alienated, and claim that it's all their fault. Yeah, probably, I can see them doing that. And honestly, the reviews for Velma so far are not that good, really. It's sitting at a 60% Rotten Tomatoes score from critics with just 5 critic ratings yet. So we'll see where that goes as soon as it drops. I think it drops tomorrow. So yeah. On Metacritic it's sitting at a 59 meta score out of 100 based on 6 critic ratings. I personally expect the scores to go down once more reviews come in. But we'll see. Or this review by The Hollywood Reporter. Velma Review, HBO Max's Scooby-Doo prequel is too snarky for its own good. Mindy Kaling, Constance Wu, Sam Richardson and Glenn Howard lead an adult-oriented animated series about the early days of the Scooby-Doo gang, minus Scooby-Doo. And this review is really negative towards the show. The Hollywood Reporter really didn't like it. I mean, look at this. But Velma's insistence that it's not like other shows grows thin over the season's 10 half-hour episodes, eight of which were sent to critics. So they didn't even get all 10 episodes. An opening voiceover promises that this is a different kind of origin story, one not about tall handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power, or asking what made this hot chick go crazy. In practice however, this one feels plenty familiar, invoking the likes of Riverdale in its archness, Veronica Mars in its prickle crime solving heroine, and most especially its HBO Max sister show Harley Quinn in its gleeful irreverence. All shows that, whatever their shortcomings, enjoy a much stronger sense of identity and purpose than Velma does. For every solid crack, ranking hot girls is exactly how the Trojan War on Facebook started, there's an observation that feels like a repurposed Twitter draft from some Harriet screenwriter's folder. I speak truth without a filter, like every comedian before me, hashtag me too, declares Velma. Never mind that the line doesn't make a ton of sense coming from a proud feminist teenager in 2023. Amid the semi-topical snipes at teen rom-coms, Yes Queen Feminism, Harry Brooklynites and for some reason the movie Serpico, the future Scooby-Doo gang and their peers can come off less like individuals than joke delivery machines. And then we have viral tweets like this one floating around. The plot synopsis for HBO Max's new Velma animated series starring Mindy Kaling is certainly something. At Crystal Cuff High School, Daphne is a popular mean girl orphan who deals drugs because of a dark family secret. Her boyfriend Fred personifies mediocre white richness. His mansion holds a dark secret and he has teeny widow privates, a subject of much conversation. Shaggy has become Norville, a school newspaper driver friendzoned by his beloved Velma. He worries he is a beta male. Remember that lame humor concept from 20 years ago? So as you see, the reviews are not really looking good so far, and especially audiences hate it. Because the show has already shown that it doesn't care about the source material. It completely changed the characters, it changed their personalities, it changed their designs, how they look. I mean, they race-swapped Velma and Shaggy, for example, probably a lot of other characters too. 
And this doesn't look like it's a faithful adaptation that takes the source material seriously. This looks like a cash grab. So Scooby-Doo fans are not okay with this, they don't like it. We'll see how where it goes when it comes out, but I don't think that this show will be a huge success. And I don't know why those studios are still doing such remakes completely inaccurate to the source material. I hope this flops and it most likely will, because this looks garbage. But what's your opinion on Velma so far? Will you watch the show and what do you think of it so far? Let us know in the comments. And like the video and subscribe to the channel. Please help this channel grow, I would really appreciate it. But that's it for now, I'll see you in the next one, until then, take care.